In terms of what we eat, Vegemite is simply part of the furniture, but 89 years ago, it was a very different kettle of fish, wasn't it? Well, yes, yes, yes. Well, Vegemite didn't exist back then. In fact, this week is the 89th anniversary of it coming onto the market. I know. <laughs> yes. These days, of course, you've got many different versions. You've got kosher version, the halal version, which is wonderful because I think that the difficulties experienced by these two religions might be sorted out by both sides coming together and breaking bread, smearing it with Vegemite <laughs> and, of course, eating it. Although it's not to everyone's taste. Took a while to catch on even with the Christians. 89 years. <laughs> Didn't exist back then. No, no, not in those days before it was invented. No, sorry, Bob. No, things were very different before they became similar. What are your memories? Well, they are things that I remember from the past. Yes, but, but what about Vegemite, 89 years ago? Well, it didn't exist. It didn't exist back then, it hadn't been invented. Yes, but, but when it had... But back in those days, of course, when it hadn't been invented, we had to use dripping or lard or kofa or ghee as a condiment for our breads. During the war, of course, it was even worse as the animal fat had to be collected so we could use it to grease our Lee Enfield. There was a mutiny, of course, by the sepoys, and mainly from Lee, who didn't enjoy it. And I think it would wear thin, wouldn't it, having fat rubbed on you? You worked for, for the company that invented Vegemite, I understand. I did. I did work for them, yes. They invented Vegemite, you know. Yes, I... 89 I, years ago. Yes, I know. I think, to this week, or two, I think. Yes, they did, yes. 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 And, and, and you were there the day that, that, that Vegemite was invented? No, I was off sick that day. <laughs> and, uh, but I was instrumental in writing the lyrics for the famous Vegemite jingle. Really? I, I didn't know that. Yes, oh yes. I mean, they didn't use them. That's why it was an instrumental. <laughs> but to the owner's wife, she did a version of it with lyrics. and, and I, I, I don't think it captured the true spirit of Vegemite, as mine had done. The Happy Little Vegemite song? No. No, I didn't like it. No, it puts a rose in every cheek. Every cheek. I mean, we've only got two. <laughs> Unless you're referring to your buttocks as well. And I'm not sure a sandwich spread that promotes the fact that it will make your bottom flush is going to translate into sales. Would you like to hear mine? Your bottom? Come with me. <laughs> Put it on your shopping list, put it on your bread, put it on your test before you go to bed. It's brown, it's shiny, it tastes all right, it's made of yeast, it's fed your mind. Than I listened to William Duffy sing and felt privileged to spend time with a man who helped create one of the most indelible icons Australia has ever eaten. A product of the wisdom of the elders.